and you vote with your feet. And so, you know, the idea that, you know, we're bringing in a white tablecloth restaurant. You know, we're going to be open for business, and restaurants have to do their due diligence and decide if they're going to make money, and to decide if the hamburger is going to cost this much or this much. And if they open up and they're not doing well, they're going to have to adjust. And, um, you know, that's the law of, of the marketplace. You know, in fact, I think one of the negatives about the current retail environment, or REOCs, REOCs, leasing dating back 20 years, is that the rents are too low, they're way below market, and as a result, it doesn't create the right environment where uh, retailers feel that they have to be on their game, be on their A game. And I, you know, I see it a lot. And um, I think with market rate rents, it'll be a test of you know, either, the, either it works or it doesn't. And it's not going to be up to me, it's going to be up to the tenants, and it's going to be up to whether the community supports them. But I'm of the opinion on a macro basis that 14,000 people can support far more food uses than what we currently have now. In fact, it's, it's laughable. In all of, once you go north of Riverwalk, the only two food options are China One and Trellis. That's it for all of the North Town buildings in Octagon. It's, it's crazy. So, um, you know, we're going to be open for business with restaurants. And, um, you know, we got some feedback from the survey about. Indian restaurants, Mexican restaurants, Asian restaurants, but then ultimately it comes down to the details. Is there somebody who wants to open up a Mexican restaurant, who wants to pay the rents we're looking for, who like the, the, the space we're suggesting that can be, you know, vented with a commercial kitchen? And, um, you know, we'll see how that plays out.